As the U.S. continues its withdrawal from Afghanistan, more refugees are fleeing the country and Taliban rule. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kaylee Green, filling in for Andy and Jackie. Now, Catholic Charities of the Texas Panhandle is preparing to take in Afghan refugees as needed. Tonight, new details from the executive director about their plans. That story, top in our news tonight at 10. Catholic Charities Executive Director Jeff Gouldy says it's unclear exactly how many Afghan refugees might be settled here in Amarillo, but they expect around 11 families. The number could be a few more, it could be a few less, so we don't anticipate large numbers. We haven't been given an exact date, but we're anticipating somewhere around the, the mid to end of September. Once they're told refugees are coming, they'll start securing housing, which is in short supply in Amarillo. I think it's due to other people just moving into the city for various reasons. So we are trying to find other landlords who are willing to help work with us to, to settle these families when they come in. He says they will need more volunteers to help meet families at the airport and get them immediately into housing. Uh, next steps include for the children of school age, get them registered for school, get them all to the health department to make sure all immunizations and all those things are caught up to date. Uh, get those the adults registered for ESL classes to get that process started. While they always need monetary donations, that's not all in this case. Uh, donation of goods. Uh, children's clothes, uh, snack foods, small drinks, things, things that are that we kind of take for granted what we might send our kids to school with that these kids will come without. Gouldy says he expects the community to welcome incoming refugees. Emerald has, has always been a, a welcoming community, open arms to, to receive immigrants of all kinds, whether it be from South America, Asia, Africa. Uh, it's a, a good, strong community, good, good strong, paying, well-paying jobs. And so uh, with, that, with that thought in mind, Emerald has been a, a nice place for refugees to be sent. The AP is reporting today Holloman Air Force Base in Alamogordo will also house Afghan refugees. The Department of Defense did not say how many refugees are headed there or when they will arrive. 